Phil Kornblut reporting from the Orange Bowl in Miami Gardens where the Clemson Tigers lost to Tennessee 31-14 to to finish their season 11-3. and And this game simply was a case where Clemson could not take advantage of multiple scoring opportunities, opportunities to score touchdowns. Instead, they had to settle for field goals and field goal attempts. And Tigers could not overcome that against a potent Tennessee offense. So the Tigers lose it 31-14 to here in the Orange Bowl in the first game as a starter for their new quarterback, Cade Klubnik, who did some nice things, had some nice numbers, but just did not get the Tigers in the end zone nearly enough. Just to recap what happened in the ball game, Clemson faked a 44-yard field goal early in the first quarter. Uh, Drew Sweeney was stopped short of the first down, and then Tennessee goes down the field, 75 yards, 11 plays for a touchdown. Milton to McCoy for 16 yards, 7 nothing. Then the teams exchanged punch and field goal attempts three times. Tennessee punted. Clemson got the ball, drove it for a field goal attempt each time. Believe it or not, P.J. Potter missed. This is a guy who had missed only three field goals all season coming in. He missed three straight, 55, 49, and 42 yards. So the Tigers missed opportunities there. Meantime, Finally, Tennessee got their offense going again, and Joe Milton, strong arm quarterback, a 50-yard pass to Squirrels White to the Clemson two, and then Jabari Small scored on the next play to make it 14-0. Tigers then drive it down to the UT 14, but again, the drive fizzled out, and Potter came on, kicked a 31-yard field goal to make it 14-3. End of the half. Down 14-3, Clemson drives it without timeouts to the 13-yard line. Uh, They spike it on the first down play, and then they draw a delay. Then Klubnik drops back to pass under pressure, takes off running. He's tackled. They don't have any timeouts. Clock is running. And again, in the shotgun, they snap it to him. He's forced to run out, and again, he's tackled. And the half ran out, and the Tigers had a chance to score. They get no points. And the half ends 14-3. to Clemson ran 36 plays in the first half in Tennessee territory and did not get a touchdown. And also, interestingly, in the first half, Will Shipley, he had five touches and 24 yards in the first half, hardly used at all. Tigers got the ball to start the second half, and they drive it. They get a, a field goal of 40 yards from Potter, and with that – That was number 73 for him. That's a school record, breaking the record owned by the great Nelson Welch. So the Tigers are in the ballgame, trailing 14-6. Their defense, despite giving up a couple of big plays, they were hanging in there and giving Clemson a chance. They just needed the offense to get in the end zone. So uh, then Clemson uh, drives it down to the Tennessee 30. Tigers were uh, stopped on downs. Shipley was cut down short of the first down marker on a run, and the ball goes over to Tennessee. Then uh, the Vols turn to their running game, and Wright, with runs of 9 and 42 yards, and then two plays later, Milton hits White for 14 yards for a touchdown as 21-6 Tennessee. Clemson then had its best drive of the night in terms of getting a touchdown, their only touchdown of the night. 12 plays, 71 yards, a good mix of passes and runs, and Klubnik ran in from the four on an RPO. Then Shipley had a two-point conversion. It's 21-14. It's still anybody's ball game. But that would be it for Clemson. Tennessee would come right back quickly and score on a 46-yard pass from Milton to Keaton. Uh, Keaton got behind Toriano Pride, and Milton put the ball right on stride. Touchdown. 28 to 14, make that, uh, yeah, make that 28 to 14 with that touchdown for Tennessee. And they later added a field goal to make it 31 to 14. And that's how the game ended. Clemson had 484 yards to 375 for Tennessee, 320 through the air for the Tigers, 164 on the ground, 34 first downs for Clemson to 21 for Tennessee. Tigers were seven of 19 on third down. They had the ball for 36 minutes. Defensively, they had four sacks and seven tackles for loss. They had uh, 12 big offensive plays in the game. 68% of their plays were run in Tennessee territory. 
Uh, Tennessee had three plays of 40 yards or more. So they had uh, some big plays as well, but not as many as Clemson, but they had some really big plays. Uh, Klubnik was 30 of 54 for 320 yards. He did have two interceptions. Uh, he only hit four of his last 12 passes. He rushed for 51 yards. Shipley finished with 72 yards on 17 carries. Ngata had eight receptions for 84 yards. Milton, the game's MVP, 19 of 28 for 251 and three touchdowns. White caught nine for 108 yards and a touchdown. So, you know, the numbers for Clemson offensively were good enough for a win, except they did not get into the end zone. And that's something they're going to have to, of course, now try to figure out when they go into next season with uh, Kate Klubnick, the expected starter going into the 2023 season. We'll have to wait and see what this Tiger roster looks like, who's coming back, uh, who is going to leave. But Dabo Sweeney now has put his eggs in the Klubnick basket at quarterback. And again, Klubnick looks very athletic back there. Uh, he can um, throw it very, very well. He threw some nice passes, but he also had to throw some balls away. And that will come, that will improve in time as he gets more experience. There's no question about it. You cannot, you know, draw a conclusion on him based on this game. Uh, there is, um, there's a lot of potential there, as Dabo Sweeney uh, pointed out after the game. He's got a lot of talent, and they think they can really tap into that and do some great things uh, with it. But they have also cannot forget that they've got a terrific talent in Will Shipley, and they really shouldn't go through a half of football with Will Shipley touching it just five times. Uh, Phil Moffa had some runs in there as well. But uh, as good as Moffa is, I mean, Shipley is the guy that uh, is next level for them. And you would think that they would make sure uh, he gets his touches. He did not get his touches in the first half. And, and Tigers fell behind partially as a result of that. So you know, Clemson finishes again 11-3. and three. They play in the Orange Bowl. They win an ACC championship. I think ordinarily... You know, many teams would be very happy with that. And Dabo Sweeney said he was happy with what this team uh, achieved this year. They came up short in some of their goals. But to win 11 games in ACC championship, uh, he thinks is still a, a very good accomplishment for any team. Of course, he also knows that the bar has been raised so high at Clemson that anything short of a playoff appearance in a national championship is going to fall short of the expectations of many people. And he's, he said he's heard that. He knows what people are saying that, you know, when you don't make the playoffs at Clemson, the, the program's taking a step back. He doesn't see it that way. He thinks they've got really good young talent in the program and more good young talent coming in, and they're going to be right back in the mix with things come next season. But right now, it's going to be a bit of a, a painful uh, month or so before they get back into it. They'll have their first meeting for 2023 team meeting on uh, January 13th, and then, of course, uh, get into spring practice sometime in uh, late February, March, and really get to work on that 2023 season. But for now, the Tigers are going to have to live with the fact that they lost to South Carolina to uh, close out the regular season, and then they came to the Orange Bowl, one of the primo bowls uh, every year, and uh, fell flat Fell, fell flat, really, um, in a 31-14 loss. Not the kind of overall performance uh, that they expected to have. We have comments from Sweeney and several of the players up on our website, sportstalksc.com, and we look forward to talking about this game and South Carolina's loss in the Gator Bowl with you on Monday night. Hope you have a great new year. Look forward to spending 2023 with you on Sports Talk and right here at sportstalksc.com.